guys welcome back to my channel so i have another intro tutorial for you guys so i'm doing a lori harvey intro it's gonna be very simple very easy i promise y'all um so this photo is just a collage i made on moldiv app on the moldiv app just make a three photo collage just like that so now i'm going into pixar because i want to add some effects to it so here's pixar i do have the gold version i think that's what it's called um, like the one that you pay for so you can have all of the um, like all the features so now I am looking for the thumbnail but I didn't see that under the YouTube so I'm just gonna go over and choose um, custom size and then a thumbnail size is 1280 the width and then the height is 720 and then I just press create design and we're gonna get right into it so make sure if you guys don't follow my instagram you do it's on the screen you can follow both my personal and my graphics instagram and check out my website but um yeah so just upload i'm uploading the photo now i just saved them to my desktop and then i'm just gonna drag the photo into our um blank canvas there and it's just giving me some instructions since it's the first time i'm using it on the computer i usually just use my phone we just press effects up there and then here we have the effects these are different kinds that they have i'm going to choose from the effects tab and then these here are like i usually my most common use effects on pixar come from this option from this category so um i'm probably going to use a couple of these different ones so i really like the um the noise effect and I'm probably just going to decrease it a bit. So if you just press on the effect you want and then you have the option next to effect that shows the adjustment, um, you can do that like you see me doing here. So it's on 30 right now. I really, I think I probably put it on 26. Um, not that far off, but um, yeah, and you can fade it out if you wanted to as well. So I have that effect and then I'm going to add a couple, probably one more. Um, but I'm just trying them out, seeing what I like and what I don't like, and going from there. I know it's probably lagging a bit, or it is lagging because um, I'm screen recording and trying to edit at the same time. That's like a lot. So I do apologize for that, but I hope that this is easy for you guys to follow along. Again, if you ever have any questions, you can ask me in the comments down below, and I'll be sure to answer you guys. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoy this tutorial. I think it's been a little bit since I put up um, my last intro tutorial. So I'm doing this one for y'all. I actually do like this effect right here. I kind of wish I did this one now, but you know, we have options. Um, and I think my next in, my next tutorial is gonna be an outro since I haven't done one of those in a while. Um, but yeah, so I like this effect right here. I'm just gonna decrease it a bit, let it fade out um, a little bit. Um, and yeah, so let's see, I'll put it a little bit half, a little bit more. Mm, almost half so I like that so that's what I want I'm gonna press export and I'm gonna download the photo I'm just changing the file name so that I know what it is and I'm gonna download it it did change the um, size so I could have um, fixed that but I didn't but when I put it into um, Final Cut then you'll see what I do so now I'm gonna go ahead and open up Final Cut Final Cut Pro um, and show y'all how I make the intro. I get a lot of requests asking me to use Final Cut Pro more, so I am gonna be doing that for you guys. Um, if you wanna know how to use Filmora, I do have a editing course on that in my website, on my website, so go ahead and check that out if you would like to. So now I'm doing a new project, um, and I'm putting it back to the regular size. I had it as square because I was making something for my Instagram, um, but yeah. Okay, so there we go. I'm going to go ahead and add in the photo that we just created or edited. And as I said, the size did change because you can see the white background. So just scale it up so that it's covering the whole background. All right. So now we're gonna go ahead and get started. I'm just gonna um, fix my timeline here. I need it to, you know, be able to see more. So I usually make my intros 
10 to 15 seconds long so <clears throat> excuse me this one's gonna be 10 seconds I don't think it needs to be any longer than that and this is our whole main screen everything is gonna be shown here Instagram all that so I'm adding in my title right now I'm using a typewriter title I got these from motionarray.com they have lots of effects and titles on there so that's where I got this from and I'm just going to use the fourth one and so it's gonna look like that and then I'm obviously gonna change my text font and all that so I'm just putting in the name here and um, I'm gonna enlarge it and then I'm gonna change the font All right, so I have lots of fonts here. I've told you guys many times before, I get my fonts from defont.com. All the names are here, so if you guys wanna download any of these, you can see them right here. And when I choose a font, you'll be able to see what the name is as well if you can't read it from here on the screen. But I'm just going through all the different fonts and trying to figure out which one I really like. Um, I'm gonna go with like a really nice handwritten font. I like this one, but I ended up finding another one that I like. This one is called Brownness. Um, but that one's really cute. Um, but I believe there's another one that I'm gonna go with. But I did really like that one as well. So I'm looking at these, and I think I go with this one. It's called Celestial, and I'm gonna add a drop shadow to it so that it kind of pops out more. And All right, so we did that. Now I'm gonna extend it out so that it's throughout the whole um, 10 seconds of the intro. So it's gonna look like that and then it's gonna disappear when it's done. So now I wanna go ahead and add my um, social media. So I'm gonna add Instagram. And for that, I'm gonna go on Canva because I want the Instagram to be like a nude brown color. Instead of just searching for a new brown one, I, I can get it more specific if I use Canva. Um, so that's what, I'm gonna do. that's what I'm gonna do here. I know it's lagging again, but as I said again, you know, I'm screen recording and I'm um, editing at the same time. So I'm just gonna choose Instagram posts. I'm gonna make a white blank slide and I'm just gonna search for Instagram and I'm gonna change the color. So I'm probably not gonna talk through this whole video just because I feel like you guys can see everything that I am doing here. But again, as I said, if you have any questions for me, go ahead, feel free to ask them in the comments down below. This was filmed in real time. So if nothing is sped up or anything, this is exactly how it went as I did it. So um, hopefully everything is clear, but if it's not, again, feel free to ask me in the comments down below. But I think this is where I'm going to end, as y'all see. So you can see everything I'm doing here. But um, yeah, so enjoy the rest of the video. Again, let me know what else you would like to see from me in the comments down below. Do have a vlog coming for y'all very soon. I'm going out of town next week. So y'all can, you know, prepare for those maintenance vlogs and all that good stuff. And yeah, so enjoy the video, you guys. And I'll see y'all in the next one.